My name is Koki Tsuchihashi. I'm a junior in college. I've been working part-time since high school at a yakitori store, the Kaino Yakitori. Ever since, I've fallen in love with yakitori and have been working here the whole time. Hello! Oh, Miyano-san, hey ya! Ready for today's shift? Oh, hey, it's been a while. You look good. Yeah! My lectures have been really tough, so I couldn't come work, but I'm excited to work again. So yeah, hear me out, Miyano-san. When I was bored and looking around at other yakitori stores, they had all amazing menus. I made a report outlining which ideas might be good for our store, too. You were that busy with lectures and you made a report? Are you actually studying in school? Y yeah of course. I was just baking this to take breaks. I see, huh? Not just chicken, there's pork too. Yeah! Apparently Fukuoka has the most yakitori stores in Japan, but they cook everything, not just chicken. If they put it on a stick and cook it, it's considered yakitori. Apparently the pork is really famous. I think I've heard of that. I want to put out a lot of menus and have customers want to come back time and time again. You really are passionate for a part-time employee. You should be looking for a job, shouldn't you? This job is too much fun that I have considered finding a job in the food industry. So this isn't a waste of time at all. <laughs> Your passion is hot like yakitori. All right, I'm going to take these suggestions to the manager. Oh, I'll go with you. Rejected. What? Not even one? Uh, too much work. But not even the fried chicken tartar sauce? Yeah, no. Too much work. But sir, we need to start considering new menu items. This store only has mainstream things, and we should start doing things that are buzzing right now, like lemon sours and stuff. That's the alcohol you like, Miyano-san. Well, it's easy to recommend things you like, right? Nah, things are fine the way they are now. I don't want to try to figure out who to order the ingredients from. Come, Come on. on! The manager wasn't a bad person. He was just not motivated at all. His parents had a lot of money, so he really does think he could survive without working. He apparently started the store because he just wanted to have fun. The store is pretty and the customer service isn't bad. The flavor's okay too. Nothing is bad, but it's not special. That's what we sell. There's little to no stress and it's fun making yakitori. I like this store. I like it, so I want to make it better. I want more people to know about it. But the manager won't try anything new. But then one day, something happened. What's up, sir? You seem upset. You feeling sick? I think I might close up shop for a little. What? Why? Is it because there aren't too many customers? No. I'm in love. Huh? Huh? I'm in love and... Whatever, I'm going to Kyushu. Wait, hang on! I don't know what happened, but explain before you go to Kyushu! Yeah, you can't just close the store. The regulars and employees are going to be confused. True. That's true. According to what he said, he apparently really hit it off with a new woman and they traded contact info. They met a few times and he really fell for her. You've been eating a lot of yakitori. Yeah, I really like yakitori. I really need yakitori when I drink. Really? I actually run a yakitori store. Oh, really? Would you mind if I go eat there sometime? She came to eat at the store, but... How is it? Hmm... Huh? What's wrong? It's too... normal and boring. Huh? It's like I'm eating frozen yakitori that I warmed up at home. That's nice, but I don't want to come to a store to eat this. Uh, bye. This tastes kind of like the stuff we ate at the other bar. I love yakitori and have gone all over Japan eating yakitori. But I don't feel any soul behind this yakitori. Soul? So then I asked her out, but she said definite no. 
I don't care if you two run or close the store. I'm going to accuse you to find the soul of Yakitori. So that means he hasn't given up on her. Well, what should we do? Um, I'll be the acting store manager, so let's open the store. Are you sure about that? I know you know more about running things than the manager, but... I want to run my own store anyway, so I've been learning. I have my license and I've taken my necessary courses. You're serious. I'm dead-ass serious. That's why this is a huge chance for me. While he's away, we're going to grow and try new menu items. Let's renew the store. What? Are you sure? Will you help me? Of course I will! Okay, let's just get permission from the manager, just in case. Miyano-san chased the manager and asked if we could adjust things around the store. He was already damaged from being rejected, so he replied, I don't care, do whatever you want. We had our permission. He left for Kyushu and we started on the menu overhaul. We continued making new items. The regulars were the first to really enjoy them. I thought that this store would just be average forever, but this is interesting. I'm gonna bring my friends sometime. Thank you so much. We'll be waiting. The regulars invited more customers and those customers brought more customers. Every time we added a new item, it brought more customers. A few months later, it was full today again. Completely different from when the manager was around. I'm glad we changed up the menu. Yeah, I can tell the customers really love it. It's important to change things up, you know? I wonder what the manager is doing right now. Did you call my name? S sir you're back? Yeah, I just got back a little while ago. What's going on? He seems completely different. Sir, how was Kyushu? I didn't know a single thing about yakitori. I just thought cooking chicken was enough. I didn't have the soul for the yakitori, so it all just tasted the same no matter what I cooked. But eating the yakitori and Fukuoka shocked me. They were all amazing. But every store had its own flavor. No two stores were the same. It was a flame of passion and you could taste the love from the store. You found the soul of Yakitori, sir. Yeah. Miyano-san. Tsuchihashi-kun. Thank you for keeping this place going for me. Thank you for bringing flavor to a dull store. I'm going to be working hard for the store to continue growing. Can I be a part of your group? What are you talking about, sir? You're the manager. We appreciated the experience. We're going to incorporate your soul power that you acquired in Kyushu and grow this store even more. Teach us all about the Yakitori in Kyushu! Thank you. Let me tell you something shocking. Kyushu Yakitori uses pork. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we, we know, know that. that. What? You knew that? I was so shocked to learn that when I went over there. Afterwards, we continued to develop new items on the menu incorporating the manager's newfound soul. The store was always full and incredibly popular. The manager decided that he would once again bring the woman he was in love with to his store. Naomi-san, your words woke me up. I went to Kyushu to learn what I needed to and have refreshed the menu. Please come by one more time. Okay. And then, that's the girl he likes. She seems to really know her yakitori, but I hope she likes our flavor. It's fine. We've all researched and through trial and error, we know that we've got a great thing going. True. Here you are. Thank you. What does she think? What does she think? Is she gonna like the yakitori that has my yakitori soul in the flavor? It's so good. I can taste your yakitori soul. Uh, thank you. Yay! Yay! I want to try the other stuff too. The tartar chicken, please. Coming right up. The manager started getting along with the woman and they were even able to get married. The manager said it was thanks to Miyano-san and myself, so his father came by the store to say his thanks. I was able to get married thanks to these two. My son would never take anything seriously. I thought he would never get married. Thank you both. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. I can tell you guys have a passion for yakitori. I have an idea. Why don't you two open a new store? Huh? Both of us? Miyano-san can be the manager, and the assistant manager can be Tsuchihashi-kun. 
I will cover all the necessary costs for the store. Wow. You're going to be able to make your dreams come true, miano son. Yeah, I'm so happy. Will you help me out? Of course I will. And I will need to work hard so that our second store doesn't beat the OG. The OG store ended up hiring the manager's wife as well, and because there was a wife who knew her yakitori, the store continued to grow even more. After I graduated college, the second store opened. The second store that was given to Miyano-san and I was almost as busy as the first store. Right now, both of the stores bring yakitori fans from all around the country to try our yakitori. Imagine if the manager didn't get rejected. I was so worried what was going to happen when he said he was going to close up shop. But I'm glad everything worked out. Seriously? That boring old manager woke up to the soul of Yakitori and then got married. What a surprise, huh? I wish I could marry someone who's interested in Yakitori. You've got someone right next to you. What about him? Huh? M miyano son! It's burning! You're overcooking it! Oh! After closing up, miyano son said that she would love to go out with me with marriage in mind. So the second store would also soon be run by a yakitori couple. There is definitely something about good flavors you don't need to change, but you definitely need to change up things to bring in new people. What did you guys think of today's story? Let me know in the comment section below. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.